da, da, da. Da, da, da. So we're going to talk now about high lift and low lift grouting. What about grout and rebar? What does it do? We talked earlier, it, 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 it imparts a stiffness quality to the wall, resistance to bending. It gives the wall shear capacity if you want to transfer uh, shear loads. So there are two ways uh, bricklayers can think about placing grout. They can, they can essentially, they can grout the wall as they're building the wall, or they can build the wall and then grout it when it's already high, right? So we have low lift and high lift grout, and they're both regulated by the code and there's pros and cons. So what is this material grout? It is, it is aggregate sand, it is sand and plus in some cases, larger aggregate like rocks in the case of uh, coarse aggregate grout, Portland cement, uh, it may have a little bit of lime, but it's not necessary, and water. So it's grout is similar to concrete, but it's not concrete. Grout is similar to mortar, but it's not mortar. It's its own thing. Grout is ASTM C476, I believe, is the, is the uh, standard for grout. And then there's ways we test for grout as well. So let's, let's look at low lift grouting, and then we'll look at high lift grouting. Uh, what, what do I mean by lift? Uh, the definition of a lift is the amount of grout that is placed in a single operation. Okay, the amount of grout that is placed in a single operation, let's assume it's being placed from the top of the wall down through the, through the open cells of the block. That's a grout lift. A grout pour is the total amount of grout that is placed prior to the erection of additional masonry. So oftentimes we have several lifts that make up a pour. Uh, sometimes a, a lift and a pour is the same if you're, if you're applying grout all the way. Um, so here's low lift. We have the foundation. We have the foundation dowels. Then the brick layers are allowed to build up to five feet four on top of those dowels. Uh, then they place their vertical rebars and then they grout. They place their grout around the rebar. They build another five foot four. They place their bars again. They place their grout. They place the block. Just when they're getting into the groove of laying block, they have to stop. They place their bars. They place their grout because this is low lift. You're only allowed to grout five foot four vertical at a single operation. Okay. So place your block, place your bars. And this now we're at the top of the wall. So uh, place your grout. And we have a, a, a bond beam at the top, which probably gets grouted as well. All right, so that is low lift grouting. The, the, the good thing about low lift grouting is that no one has to sign off on the brick layers placing grout. We can be pretty confident that the grout is gonna travel from elevation five foot four down to elevation zero without getting hung up on anything, some kind of interference in, in the grout cell. Uh, it's, a fairly, it's a fairly short distance for the grout to travel. So for that reason, the masons are allowed to grout without having an inspection of that wall. Now, when we look at high lift grouting, inspections are required. Um, now, the, the downside to low lift is that once they get to five foot four, which is a pretty short wall, they have to stop, place their bars and place their grout. So you're, you're constantly kind of changing what you're doing. All right, so contrast that to high lift grouting. Here we have the foundation. We're allowed to build all the way up to 12 foot eight. The code tells us 12 foot eight is the maximum we can go for, uh, for high lift. But we have these, these red squares are clean out openings, meaning the face shell of the block is removed at these red square locations. Um, and an inspector has, well, before the inspector comes, the masons place their bars. Now the inspector has to come or the, uh, or the architect or the engineer someone with the authority to examine the clean outs and say, yes, I, I approve. It looks like you've done a good job keeping your grout space uh, clear. And then so the masons can, can place their, um, their grout. They continue to build the wall again with clean outs, another, ins uh, an another inspection. So the nice thing about this is they, they can get a pretty good amount of masonry built before they have to request the inspector to come pay a visit. Um, the, the, bad sign, the bad thing is that they do require that inspection. Uh, this is a code requirement.